assalamu alaikum students dear students today we are going to discuss about the eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell has the true nucleus with other organelles surrounded by the plasma membrane there are numerous examples of the eukaryotic cell fungal cell plant cell animal cell and the protozoan cell they all belong to eukaryota domain eukaryotic cell is much more complex than the prokaryotic cell which belong to the domain archaea and the other domain is the bacteria that are less complex than the eukaryotic domain now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of eukaryotic cell diagrammatically eukaryotic cell in the center has the nucleus and nucleus structure involves the nuclear membrane the nuclear envelope which is also known as nuclear membrane has the nuclear pore and the nucleus itself has the nucleolus which is the ribosome factory in addition to that we have mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus centriole these double membranous organelles are absent in the prokaryotic cell while they are present in the eukaryotic cell this is the generalized eukaryotic animal cell we are going to further explore its characteristics in detail now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of eukaryotic cell as mentioned earlier there are numerous organelles in the cell and these organelles perform diverse array of functions which also differentiates from the prokaryotic cell these include true nucleus endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria in addition to that we support all the organelles is the cytoskeleton cytoskeleton is composed of microtubule microfilament and intermediate filament these also help in the communication between the cells in addition to that where organelles are floating is called cytosol moving on we are going to quote all the examples we have which previously mentioned about the eukaryotic cell these examples are very important to understand the structure of eukaryotic cell first of all is the plant cell plant cell has the cell wall which is lacked by generalized animal cell also in addition to that they have the large central vacuole and the chloroplast which is also lacking in the animal cell chloroplast is important for the processes of photosynthesis in addition to that the second most important eukaryotic cell we are going to discuss is the fungal cell fungal cell also has the cell wall that is made of chitin while plant cell cell wall is made of of cellulose moving on we are going to mention the third example that is animal cell animal cell lack the cell wall which is present in the plant cell and the fungal cell in addition to that animal cell can change its shape and perform the process of phagocytosis and the pinocytosis in addition to that the other major difference between plant cell and the animal cell is the vacuole plant cell have one larger vacuole and the animal cell have small vacuoles now we are going to discuss about the fourth example of eukaryotic cell and that is one of the most important because it is the single unicellular eukaryotic cell as they are fully organism they possess the ability to move due to the cytoskeleton as compared to the other eukaryotic cells which i have mentioned earlier are the multicellular why protozoans are unicellular the movement is also supported by the presence of cilia and the structures are supported by the pellicle in conclusion i am going to mention that we have explored the characteristics of eukaryotic cell and the types of different eukaryotic cells this is important for the understanding of cell biology as the structure and the functions of the eukaryotic cells form the basis of life thank you